Okay, hey everybody. I'm just here to um, give a demonstration on texturing models um, using Blender 2.81. I got asked to do a video on it, so that's what I thought I'd do for everybody. Basically, Shift A brings up your menu here. Let's create a mesh. We got a mesh here. If you check this box, it's already going to UV map for you. So we'll try to show that. Hit S, drag back. It'll scale it up. Um, if I hit tab A, make sure everything's selected, go to UV, you'll see that this is already cut and laid out for us. All right. So it's like this uh, picture here. Basically, here's your cube. It's cut along the seams, to unwrap it, then your texture is applied, and then you, when it's folded back up, that's how it'll fit together. If there's no cut mark, like right here where the, the center square meets this edge square, then that means that the texture is not going to end. But if it's a cut seam, that means the texture technically ends in this one, so they'll meet together. So you might have to play around with it some. You basically want the texture where it doesn't, isn't cut facing the area that you want to be displayed the most. Um, so anyhow, that's basically how that works and your texture is applied here. Let's go ahead and apply a texture. Come up here. Uh, if you want to, you can create a new texture. You can then right click on this name it uh, say brick zero one for example go to base color here click on image texture go to open uh, go to where your textures are saved at uh, textures fine I want to do we'll do a brick one where is it right here so now's the break. Now it's still not displaying or showing up on here as of yet, but that that'll get you where you want to be on laying this out. Um, so let's do let's go back to modeling. So if I tab a let's do UV unwrap. And it shows it unwrapped. Now this is automatically. If you don't want this to automatically do it for you, you can take and cut it all yourself. So let's delete this. Uh, go back to modeling. We got this. Well, X, delete, Shift S or shift a create a new cube take this off we'll scale it now tab a and we'll go to UV it's not selected it's not in there so if we go to our model and do edges and we say cut here we want to cut here we want to cut on this edge cut along this edge along this edge this one here this one here and I'm going to leave these ones all undone so we're going to mark, right click mark seams uh, come up here UV unwrap or wait hold on do control L first then UV unwrap bam did it for us Go over here, select our texture, let's do brick. And that will get us to apply that there. Okay, basically, I um, forgot to tell you guys, uh, with, this isn't the plane right here because you got to select uh, into the mode there to see the texture. Um, but basically, this is how it's being applied. See how it's, but if you wanted to, say, take these and scale them up, you see how now it's changing the size of the block. If you want to scale it down, see how it's changing the size. So it's all about how much of it you want to display on there to give you your size. But um, that being said, so there's uh, there's that. There is 
another way to go about texturing which is the one I use the most delete let's do um, shift D or not shift D shift a mesh cube I go ahead and do the pre-generated scale but I got an add-on called magic UV um, I talk about it in one of my other videos you can look it up uh, it's an add-on for blender but basically hit tab a um, this is your normal item for your location for I always use global for your location of your object but it adds a tab called edit make sure you check the UV hit box that's going to create a UV mapping for us um, there it shows up there but it's just stacking them the way that they do it but it's it's alright um, it's just a quick simple way of texturing so let's go ahead and add a texture we've already did this so let's just go brick add it and there we go okay so the nice thing about this is I can scale it this way just go say 2 5 10 1 so you should get the idea I can move the texture this way I can move the texture this way and I can move the texture this way so you can play around with it this to get things to line up the way you want along the seams this works for most things for me it does not work for everything so you may have to revert to the cutting of the seams um, to get it to lay out the way that you want um, but this can work for most things so I would I would actually use this add-on if I was you uh, but you can just revert to the UV well I hope you guys find that helpful uh, see you at the next video